All right, here's construction using a compass. Now I've sort of rigged up a little thing here. Um, old used to be chalk in here, but this is what we're going to use to help us. We're going to copy a line segment using a compass. Now this isn't too hard to do. What we need to do is we're going to use the compass basically as a measuring tool. I can pretty much just like you could measure my head and then put it and measure someone else's head and compare using this length between them. We're going to do the same thing <clears throat> on this line segment. So basically I'm going to be able to measure it like this. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to draw a basic line underneath. This point and this point, so I'll label this like A prime, <clears throat> is my new, new point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to spread it out to measure the distance A to B then simply bring it down here, make my marking, and right to that point will be the same length. It's that simple. So A prime and B prime, there. Exact same length has to be. Again, one of the things we want to do is use the compass as a measuring tool, of just opening it up or shutting it down to sort of measure the distance between points, or in this case, the line segments points. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy an angle using our compass. The first thing to do is what I want to do is I want to copy this angle. Now it's going to be hard to get exactly what that side is, but I can go ahead and draw a straight line here. I know I can mimic that piece, but to get that piece at the exact angle, that's what I'm trying to do. Well here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the end over here so I can make two points that are equal distant from that point, from the vertex point on this angle. I come over here and I make a point that's equal distant also. Now I know I need to create this line here, but I don't know how far up that to go. This is where that measuring piece between them is going to come handy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come back to this angle put this right where it crossed that path, slide it into where it's touching right on that path, and if I come over here and do the same, you're going to see it creates the exact same angle opening from these points that are maybe, let's say, six inches away. So this point's six inches away, and I know the way I created it, this guy's going to be six inches away, so it's going to go through, a little weak there, it's going to go through that intersection and I'll end up having the exact same angle opening. So again, you start from the vertex, create an arc, come over here, create the same arc, then you measure and measure the same distance. That's how we copy an angle. Alright, we want to bisect a line segment. So we have line segment AB. And we want to basically cut it in half, to bisect it. To do that, again, we're going to use our compass. And what I always remember is most of the time, you basically got to put this guy, you have two points, I'm going to have to put it on one of the points and draw some type of arc. Now, to do this, I want to make sure I extend it beyond halfway. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it here on A, and make a marking, bring it down here, finish my marking. And again, you could make a one full big circle if you wanted, but I just need a marking there and a little marking there. I keep the distance the same between it. I come over to B, put it on make a marking, put it on B, make a marking there, and you'll notice that it has an intersection right here and right up there. And now I simply can draw that line. That line is going to bisect it. Right here would be the midpoint. That would be the middle point between A and B, because this line bisects it, cuts it into two equal parts. If this AB happened to be 12 inches, this part now 6, and that part is now 6. Again, always remember, if you get confused, you got to stick the point somewhere on these two points that you're given. You always got to create these arcs, or basically, to be honest, these circles is what you're really creating. But again, to save time, we're not going to go all the way around to see it come through. But that's how we bisect a line segment using a compass. 
All right, we want to bisect an angle this time. That means we want to cut this angle in half. If this were a 50 degree angle, we want to draw the line that's going to cut it into 25 degrees and 25 degrees. That's what it means to bisect an angle. To do that, well, I don't have any points here, except for I know this point right here at the end, which is called the vertex point. So I'm going to start right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create two other points that are equal distant from my vertex point. So now what I've done, keeping it the same measurement, from there to there is the same distance as from the vertex to this point. Like now I've created two points that are equal distant from here. So if I take it, put it on here, on that point, draw an arc, put it on this point, draw an arc, the intersection of them will basically be in the dead center of that angle. So all i got to do is now draw a straight line through that center, and now this angle and that angle are equal. We have bisected the angle. We started at the vertex, made two points that were the same distance away from that vertex, and then drew two arcs outside over there from these two points, and then drew our line. There's how we bisect an angle. All right, we want to make a line perpendicular to another line segment through a point that's not on this line segment. So we want to get a perpendicular line coming through A, though A is off of the line. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm always as normal going to stick this point right on the only point I have. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it cross this line segment so that it's equal distant away from that. So all I do is I simply put it on there, make a marking, make a marking over here, and notice that this point here and this point here, since that would serve as sort of like the radius of our, the radius of our circle, these have got to be the same distance away from A. Now all I have to do is I'm going to create, basically using those as, as radii, I'm going to take it, I'm going to go ahead and spread it out just a little bit, Make a marking down here. Make a marking down here. Here we go. Again, this will help us go straight up into A, and we'll come across through A, through the line, perpendicularly. Now we're going to use the compass to make a line perpendicular to another line through a point on the line. So we have this point A that's on this line segment here. And we want to draw a perpendicular line through it using our compass. Now, if we had a protractor, we could make it 90 degrees, but this is all we have. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two points. Again, if I'm ever confused, I'm always going to stick this on whatever point I can. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and stick it right on A. I'm going to make a marking right over on that side, keep it the same distance, Make a mark in here. Now these two points right here, we'll label it B, and this point right here, we'll label it C. Those points are the same distance away from A. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create sort of a circle with B being the center and a circle with C being the center, and where they cross, it's going to go whoosh, right down through A. Now the one thing I do need to do is I need, if I do it this way, they're going to intersect right at A. So I need to open it up just a little bit wider. Now I put it on here, I make a marking up here, down there, I sort of slid off a little bit, but we'll survive. Put it here, and here. See, I'm going to have to come back here because I didn't go far enough. And now you can see I've created a point right up here, an intersection piece right here. And if I draw them, I'm a little off there. I didn't go right to my point. But that line is going to be perpendicular to this line segment going through point A, which is on this original line segment. And that is how we make a line perpendicular to another line through a point on the line using our compass. All right, we want to make a parallel line through a point not on the line. So we have this line here 
and this point C that's not on this line, and we want to create a line that's parallel to line AB. So we want it like here, but we've got to make sure that it's exactly parallel to it. We can't have it tilting any little bit off. So to do that, what we're going to do is we simply are going to create an angle using A and C. So we'll create this angle BAC. So if I draw a straight line right through, well, we sort of missed it, didn't we? Well, we'll just cheat and move the little point C over there. So there's our point C. We've created an angle here. And I'm going to make this line parallel. What I'm going to do is I've made an angle. If I make this exact, let's say that angle is 50 degrees. If I make that exact same 50 degrees up there, that 50 degrees and this 50 degrees would be corresponding angles that are equal, and that would mean the line would have to be parallel. So I want to create this angle measurement up here. To do that, I'm simply going to put this right here. Make those. That point and that point are equidistant. I'm going to create the same equidistant piece there. And now, all I have to do is I come in here and I'm going to measure this angle opening right here so that that's about exact right there. So I have it maybe, let's say, six inches away from it. Now, I can't put it here six, but what I can do is where this line, if it had continued, I can put it here, which would make it six, and now I can create this angle and that angle match, which means this line here and this line here are parallel.